पतिम सुरगुरु वंदे जगत्कारणम वंदे पल्लग भूषणम शशिधरम वंदे पशूनाम पतिम वंदे सूर्य शिशाकन वंदे मुकुंद प्रिय वंदे भक्तजन आश्रय चरद वंदे भक्तजन आश्रय चरद वंदे शिव शंकर महाभारत इज एन एपिक An epic is a classic. A classic is universal. Anything universal is always eternal. Now I use you four words. Epic, I don't understand. Classic, equally useless, I don't understand. And then universal. It appears to be a little understood, but not clearly. It is eternal. I don't understand. When I deliver a speech, I don't understand one word. What is the use of using hundred words? The epic is a long story. No understanding. And what type of story? A classical story. Classical means permanent, applicable to all people at all times. In India, it is true. In England, it is true. How sir, Dharmraj is there in England? No. A good man is India available. A good man in England also is available. You find a jealous person in India, Duryodhana. A jealous person in England, America. Jealousy is common. Love is common. Boy, in Yasvyasa University falls in love with a girl. A boy in Oxford University also falls in love with a girl. That is universal. In 2010, a boy fell in love with a girl in Africa. In 2012, long, long, long ago, a boy fell in love with a girl. That is eternal. A classic is a long, permanent, applicable to all people. A story. Mahabharata is a beautiful story. It has characters. Such characters were available once upon a time in India, in America, in Africa. Even now they are available all over. Tomorrow, after a hundred years or so, they will be available. Such a story is called an epic. Ramayana is an epic. Sir, in Western countries, don't you have epics? Yes, there are. Milton's Paradise Lost is an epic. Homer's Odyssey is an epic. There are epics, long stories of universal appeal, of eternal truth, everlasting truth, permanent truth. In every country, we can, in our country, there were two great rishis. One such rishi was Valmiki. What is the meaning of a rishi, sir? Researcher. What is research, sir? Research is to find the truth. What is the truth, sir? When a boy and a girl are available, they look at each other. It is true. When there is fire and when there is cotton, cotton will be burned. It is true. When two objects are dropped from the same place, they reach the, they both reach the ground at the same time. It is true. Permanent truth, physical truth, psychological truth, intellectual truth, biological truth. If you take Prabhupada, you will belch through 
These permanent, universal, eternal truths that are written in the form of a long story, it is called an epic. And who has discovered the truth? A researcher. Who is that researcher? A great Rishi. What is the name of that Rishi? Valmiki. Another great Rishi, Vyasa. Valmiki discovered certain human truths and he has given us that truth in the Ramayana. A researcher and a teacher put together is called a Rishi. Valmiki is a great researcher. He has found the psychic truth, psychological truth, and he wrote it in the form of a book, story, and he taught it to Lavan Pusha, first teacher. Then Mahabharata, another great researcher, he too discovered the human truth. He too presented it in the form of a long story. He too taught it to his disciples, Jaivini and others. A researcher is called a Rishi. Researcher finds the truth and gives it to others. Thank God they stopped that sound. <laughs> now, in the Mahabharata, it is completely with me. Whether it is beautiful or burdensome, God only has to decide. Those girls sitting by his side, they find the top of boredom, they listen to that. If a child is stopping, at least when the talk is going on. Now, this Rishi researcher Yas Maharshi, he made a very great discovery. He is an old man like me. He does not know how to cooperate the computer. Computer typing he does not know. And therefore, he went to the chancellor. He went to the president. He went to the creator. He went to Brahma. What do you want, Mr. Sir, I have discovered the truth, sir. Very good. Write it down. I am unable to write, sir. Why? I don't know how to computer type. Then, you take a modern boy from Vyasa University. Who is that boy, sir? There is Lord Shiva's son, Vigreshwara. Is he good at uh, typing, sir? Very good at typing. Then, Vigreshwara, the student, good typist, was summoned. He was called by Brahma. And he gave him the duty. My dear Vigreshwara, here is a great Rishi Vyasa. He will be dictating without time. Vigreshwara thought, hey, Am I only a typist? I am also a great thinker. I am also a great scholar. You man, you dictate and I have to take down. Sir, Brahmaji, because you are giving me the order, I am trying to obey. But sir, I have a condition. What is that condition? I will type it so very fast, my typing should not stop. You should continuously dictate my fingers should not stop. I will be taking down in long hand. Then we ask that, how can I continuously speak, mister? No, that's none of my business. If you wait for half a minute, my fingers won't wait, I will stop the work and get out. Then Vyasa said, My dear Vigreshwara, I appreciate your talent, you are a very good computer typist, you can take down very, very fast, very quickly. But, Mr. Without understanding a single word, you should not talk. Type. Vigreshwara said, The entire Oxford advanced learner's history, I memorized man. I know every word. There is no problem for me. You dictate, I will type. If you are unable to go very fast, I will stop and get out. Condition, condition. Brahma said, both of you go to a forest. Sit there. I will give you the computer. 
Vigneshara, you begin to die, Vyasa begins to be dead. Then Vyasa Maharshi said, the whole Mahabharata, one lakh slokas. That means the entire Mahabharata must be readily available in his brain. He started dictating. Now and then old man, now and then he forgot. Next sloka, next sloka, Vigneshara, hey, you are stopping. No, 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 I am not stopping. To make Vigneshara think a little, here and there, he used to give a sloka which is very tough for understanding. Very difficult for understanding. And they are called Vyasa Khattas. In hundred, one lakh of slokas, at least 10,000 slokas are like that. When he gives that sloka, Vigneshwara just for a minute, he would stop. Because condition is there without understanding, you should not take down. One such sloka is in Karma Yoga. What is that sloka? Karmanyevadikaraste ma paleshu kadajana. O oh man, you have right to do your work. Then, second part, you cannot demand food. Six days you work, seventh day holiday necessaries are nothing, we will not ask. Thirty days you work, thirty first day you want salary, don't ask to do the work. Then we can say, what is this foolish law? You fall in love with a girl. She does not love. What is this? Hundred out of hundred heart, I fell in love with her. She is not loving me. Can I get angry with her? Here, karma eva. Eva means only to do the karma, to do the work, to do the duty. You have responsibility. Adhikara means responsibility. Karma eva adhikara stay. You have the responsibility only to do the work. Then, you have no right to demand the fruit. You cannot expect the fruit. You cannot desire the fruit. What is this? You go to the temple, you have a duty only to pray. Don't expect. What do you expect? You give the coconut, don't ask it back. Is it right? Think. Tanakadharastavam we have. Tanakadharastavam was recited by Adi Shankara. When he was a Brahmachari in Kaladi, he went to a house. Ma Bhavati Vikshandi Tai Ma, he said. Lady came. Absolutely nothing in the house. She found a dry fruit, brought it. He, she was weeping, she gave it to Shankaracharya. He was a boy. <laughs> then Shankara looked at her weeping, looked at the dry fruit. Immediately he had a thought. Yama Lakshmi Devi, you have no heart. There are rich people making black money, not giving it to anybody. There are poor people, they want to give, but they don't have money. Is it right? Immediately, Adi Shankara recited Tarakatharastava. Even now, all over the country, many, many people on Friday in the morning take bath, sit before Lakshmi, Ma, Ma, Lakshmi, gold, 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 gold. When Tarkatharastavam was recited by Adi Shankara, from the sky, gold coins fell. Tanaka Vrishti, Vrishti means rain. Gold fell on the floor. But I have recited more than 5,000 times today, not a single Vaisakhi. You find so many women. But is the rule right or wrong? You pray, you get gold. I pray, you do the gold in the cup. Drop two coins, two measures, two weights, two objects 
from the same place. They both fall on the ground at the same time. Law of gravitation. Physics. When I was a 7th standard student, my teacher taught me, you take two objects, any two objects, of varying weights, one 5 grams, another 500 grams. Drop them. Because earth has the gravitational pull, it will come. Dropping is action, reaching the ground is fruit. I did not believe. In those days, I went to Chennai. The tallest building in Chennai was LIC building in those days. Now it has become sharper because taller buildings have come. I went to the top, took 5 mg milligram weight, feather weight of paper. And then, one kilo stone, I dropped them. What does the law say? When two objects are dropped from the same place, they both should reach the ground at the same time. I drop. The stone fell straight, touched the ground. Paper. It was flying. Is the rule wrong? Under ideal conditions. When I fall in love with the girl, ideal condition, she should also love me. That is not there. And then, her parents must encourage their enemies. My parents should support their idiots. The teachers, evils. Everybody is opposed. How can it happen? I have to run away. So, Desiring is different, fulfillment is different, prayer is different, return is different, hundred conditions there are. TVS 50, Mopet. That fellow advertised long, long, long ago when the first TVS 50 came. This TVS 50 will give 80 kilometers per one liter. You drive, and what is the fruit? 80 kilometers per one liter you should get. I bought it. I used it. I, thought, I found one liter of petrol was giving only 55 kilometers. I am not a person to swallow. Immediately I went to consumer court, took that advertisement. This advertisement says one liter gives 80 kilometers. Then I challenged from Hosur factory, Mopet factory. The general manager came, my lawyer, justice, all the people. Sir, please come to my factory. Who will pay the cost? I pay, sir. He took a law. I went there. In the factory, there was a pillar. On the poster pillar, they fixed the TVS 50, brand new TVS 50. He cleaned it, applied heavy grease to the front wheel, back wheel also was applied heavy grease. Beautiful, fresh, uncontaminated, unadulterated, pure petrol. He brought in a little oil. He filled the tank with hot one liter, started it, raised the accelerator. The second wheel was going, going round, 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 round. It gave 82 kilometers. Then I told him, Mister, your TVS 50 is giving 82 kilometers. My TVS 50 is not giving. Bring it, sir. He said that I took it. He fixed it, cleaned it, applied grease, removed the old petrol, filled the new petrol, and started it. That also gave 82 kilometers. Then why is it not given? Sir, what is the advertisement? Per liter, it gives 80 kilometers. Did I say, is it on the road? <laughs> road is full of speed breakers. Road is full of dust. There is a wind opposite. And I am 120 kilos sitting. My wife is 240 kilometers sitting behind. Vegetables, 500 kilos. Load. And when I go to the petrol bank, the petrol is mixed with kerosene. There is no grease. Under ideal conditions. Karmanyevadhikaraste. 
of these so many, only one is in your hand, loving. That girl does not love. Her parents do not like. Your parents do not like. Your teachers hate you. So many adverse conditions. Therefore, Krishna says, if you do a thing, only one of the hundred, most recent example, Satyam Computers of Hyderabad. That man made some mistake. Highly qualified people, sincere people, hardworking people were employed in his company. One fine morning, 10,000 people in Hyderabad were dismissed, terminated. What mistake did they commit? Are they not sincere? Are they not qualified? Are they not hardworking? Why? Somebody else has committed the mistake. The fruit is not in your hand. Only the effort is in your hand. Do it. Why do we come to Maitri Mila? You come for attendance, not for me. Some people come just before my stopping. Why? Attendance. Some of the staff, some of the students, they come. They will just listen to one word and they go away. When I ask them, did you come to my tribunal? Yes, sir. What did I speak? Sir, you spoke about TVS 50. <laughs> Only TVS 50, one word they catch. Self-deception. What is karma yoga? You love the work. When you are singing in the bathroom, do you want a certificate for it? <laughs> do you want a first prize for it? Why do you sing? I love, sir. Any action, when you do it spontaneously with love, with involvement, with commitment, without fear, without favor, without expectation of day, desire and fruit, it is called Karma Yoga. Come to my tribunal out of love. Not for me. I just do like to love. You love the work. Love for the sake of love. Prayer for the sake of prayer, work for the sake of work, veena for the sake of veena, job for the sake of job. Why do you paint? I love painting, I do it. Why do you talk? I love talking, I talk. If nobody is there, I sleep and sleep and sleep. In the sleep, I talk. I enjoy it. Karma Yoga is without fear. Karma Yoga is without favoring anybody. Karma Yoga is without desire for anything. Karma Yoga is out of love. Any action, karma means action. You love it and therefore you do it. India will be grand. Prashanti Kutir will be excellent. If the teachers, students and the employees love to do the work. Otherwise, it is burdensome, it is tortuous, it is boring, it creates sleep. That boy is sitting and writing a notes there, useless fellow. He doesn't like it. I asked him to keep the book closed, but he has opened it again. This is how we misbehave. We absolutely do not have any involvement. Let us love. What cannot be avoided must be loved. What is unavoidable is to be endured is the proverb. No, it is to be enjoyed. When you enjoy every activity, when you love every activity, that action becomes a karma yoga. Having come to Prashanti, let, make, let us make every action a loving action, unselfish action, service activity, so that we become real karma yogis. Let us emulate Sri Krishna, who is a great karma yogi. Let's meditate on